Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel, Principal Outdoors. Uh, if you have a chance, please hit the subscribe button and uh, we'll do lots more videos like this, like I always say. Uh, so we went over the difference between talons and raptors. If you haven't seen that video, it's up and uh, you might learn a few things on that from that, hopefully. And now what I'm gonna do is install raptors on the boat. So I'm gonna just show you the individual steps. Uh, uh, rigging it on this, this is a Lund uh, 1875 bass boat, Pro Bass. Uh, so it's an aluminum boat, it's got a 200 horsepower on it. The original idea was to put a jack plate on it. So I brought the boat over to the marina and uh, started off, I didn't want a long jack plate, I'm not looking for performance out of this. Uh, jack plate was to make um, installation of a raptor a little easier to take them on and off if I have to. Not like at the end of the year, I mean. Uh, so that's why I was going to put a jack plate on. Started off with a 4 inch, it wasn't big enough just because of the steering, uh, hydraulic steering system right here. Uh, so that was a four inch. We got four inch adapters. Now it was eight inch and it was just too big. Um, eight inch jack plate on this boat was too much. And again, I'm not looking for performance out of this boat. It, it performs awesome the way it is, right? So we foregoed the uh, jack plate installation and that left us with the option of sandwich style mounts. So that's what you're looking at right here. These little brackets here, these are adapters for the Raptor mounts and they just sandwich between the engine and uh, between the engine and the motor, right? Um, before I forget, they do come, if you're only putting on one Raptor and you buy that sandwich style adapter, it does come with a spacer for the other side of the boat, of the engine, right? So keep that in mind. I get that question asked a lot, right? So this is the adapter that we put on, had that installed at the marina. It's all safely bolted down and all this. And then now onto that adapter, we could put uh, the jack plate bracket on. Uh, so the adapter that's already installed, that's universal. There's only one model. It fits on the left, fits on the right. The brackets, the actual Raptor brackets, there is a port and a starboard model. So uh, pay attention to that when you're mounting it. Um, you can get these in four inch and six inch. I opted for six inch because basically I want, you have a choice. You can mount the Raptors in tight and then angle them out. Um, if you want uh, with, with an ad another adapter. Uh, but I really kind of want them going, I want them spread out a bit, but going straight back. Now, sometimes you see these, these, uh, these Raptors uh, mounted out, like they're, they're really out to the left and right, but I worry about docking with that. So um, that was a good point brought up by my friend Ralph, who mentioned that docking can be a little more difficult with Raptors as opposed to Talons. So thank you, Ralphie. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're going to install, the uh, jack plate, or sorry, six inch jack plate bracket starboard. Um, so again, it says jack plate, we're not using a jack plate, but with the adapter, you don't need a jack plate, okay? So I'll get that all installed up and I'll show you uh, what it looks like once it's installed. Thanks. All right, so you'll notice we've got the jack plate mount on here. So again, this is not a jack plate. I'm not using a jack plate, so I use the sandwich adapter right here that I showed you first, and the jack plate mounts mount onto that. There's a left and a right, a port and a starboard, so remember that. This red thing on here, this is just for shipping. Uh, it keeps the holes, the bolts in place so you don't lose them. One thing that's very important, you'll notice that when you buy these mounts, the bolts on these are huge, right? And they come with this uh, tube of white um, uh, grease. It's kind of a grease, right? And it's an anti-seize uh, grease because those big bolts, when you tighten them down, if you don't put this on, they will seize up. I've had it happen to me like 10 years ago, mounting my first uh, talon actually, and the giant bolt seized and it was tough to get off. So make sure you use this, use it sparingly, and uh, get those bolts tightened up really tight. Um, I've got the Raptor laid out in front of me. Everything here, everything in the box. There's no parts that you're missing. Um, all the mounting hardware comes with it. Uh, you can see the uh, fluid comes with it, the hydraulic fluid comes with it. And um, yeah, so let's get the Raptors put on and then we'll talk about hooking up the hydraulics and the power to the hydraulic motor. All right, so we got one of the Raptors up. Um, here's the thing you gotta remember. First thing very important is when this is not hooked up to power and the hydraulics aren't hooked up, this will open up on its own. So just watch your fingers when you're installing it. Second thing is the way the bracket's made, um, you can move before you tighten it down. You can actually change the angle of the Raptors, right? Very important because if I, 
tighten these down straight forward or straight up or flush on the bracket, then my Raptor will hit the engine, right? So what I want to do is pull it all the way over this way. Now the, the nuts are nice and snug like that. So I can pull it all the way over, out to the side like this, and now tighten it down. And then I'll have the perfect install. So both Raptors are up, plenty of room for the engine to steer left and right, and nothing's getting in the way. They're nice and vertical. Uh, so now it's time to route the hydraulic cables and uh, as well as install the pumps and electrical for the pump. So this is a look at the pump right here. Better look at it. And it's got power coming out of it. So I'm actually installing these pumps on this side of the boat, on the port side. My battery's on the right. I figured out a way I can run the power cables to there. And then uh, I gotta do the hydraulics. Um, I think I know what I'm gonna do for that. I hate, obviously I hate drilling holes in boats. Everybody does. I may have a good solution for that. And then just wanted to show you that. That's the bracket that the pump sits in. So you're actually mounting this with this extra support uh, in, a, in a locker somewhere. And uh, that's what's gonna hold your pump. And you can easily, there'll be bolts holding it on the back. You can easily loosen those bolts and take the pump out anytime if you want. So uh, let's get started on that and I'll show you when it's done. All right, so the install is done. So these, again, they're 10 foot Raptors on an aluminum boat. Uh, so they stand up quite a bit higher than a 10 foot Talon, uh, which is what I had on the boat before. And let's just take a look at the final install. So I managed to put the pumps over here on the port side, dry, uh, passenger side. Um, I had a nice compartment there, left myself lots of room to get behind it. These pumps are actually sitting in those brackets so I can take them out at any time. Don't see why you'd want to, but I guess if service or anything, hydraulic fluid is included. So I filled that up. Now running the hydraulic lines, this is what I did. I did not feel like uh, drilling into any part of aluminum of the boat. So these, uh, I think these are called scupper holes or anyways, big ho access holes. Uh, so I actually drilled holes in that and ran the two hydraulic, two hydraulic lines for each Raptor, ran them through there. Um, right over here, back here, it's all empty. So I ran it from there into the compartment. And then the battery cable power went from the uh, pumps over here under this empty part again over to the, well, that's my cranking battery. You can barely see there. I actually run a second 12 volt um, and uh, to just help with all the electronics and all that stuff. So the power for the Raptor pumps went to here and that's the final install. Give you a bit look at the brackets right there. And there you go. I'm gonna clean up the uh, hydraulic lines a bit, get them safely away from the engine, and there you go. Thanks. So there you have it. Two Raptors installed on an aluminum boat. I uh, hope it helped you out and helped you decide whether you like Raptors or Talons. Um, just my honest opinion, the, uh, the installation was obviously more complicated than installing a Talon, but, uh, but easy enough to do. You know, the idea of this video wasn't to do it yourself, how to install it. There's a lot of marinas out there that do great jobs installing, so, you know, if you're, if you're not a little bit handy, I suggest going to a marina and get these installed, but at least you'll understand what is involved in the installation. And, uh, you know, you, you can do it. It wasn't too complicated. Uh, you know, like, like always, anything you do with the boat, the hardest thing is running the cables. It's always the toughest thing and the thing that never really works as planned, right? But uh, it wasn't great. I mean, it wasn't bad. And um, so I'm looking forward to trying these Raptors uh, throughout the year. I'll uh, start, I'll be fishing in about, oh, maybe in a month or so, uh, bass fishing in a couple of months. So I'll let you know how it's going, shoot some videos on the water for you. Um, and uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.